Who doesn't love comforting chicken noodle soup? Well, today we're going to take that even further and we're going to make chicken noodle soup casserole and we're going to show you how it's done. So come, come on, on in. in. Shotgun Red and I'm Sheila. I'm Jennifer. And now the holidays are over and we all have had plenty to eat. I don't know about you all. We had some good we food. Did. In fact, we're going to start calling ourselves Fluffy. And Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> because, because we had so many good uh, things to we eat. We did. Oh. Uh, I mean, so we're like, but, but we're going to do some more good things to eat because, you know, food is a beautiful thing. <laughs> Like to make it, it has been around here, hasn't it? It has been so here and in Alabama. And this is true comfort food you yes, are gonna is. love chicken noodle soup casserole. And who doesn't like a casserole? And who doesn't like chicken noodle soup? So, together, we've got it. We're gonna do it for you today. <laughs> so, we got all of our ingredients out here, and now we're gonna take it back to the stove and show you how it's done. I just poured in some wide egg noodles, a 12 ounce bag, into some boiling water. And we didn't use salt, we're just doing it in regular boiling water. And while that's boiling, we're going to go ahead and work on our sauce. So the first thing, we've got our skillet on medium heat, and we're going to just add about a stick of butter in here and melt this. We love butter. We love butter. Can't do without our butter. No. Nah. And our noodles are already done. Now, they didn't have to cook very long because we kind of wanted to keep them al dente. So make sure you can do it according to package, but just keep an eye because they're going to continue to bake in the oven. So you don't want to overcook them because then they're going to get mushy on you. We don't like mushy. We don't like mushy. All right, get this butter in here. And we've got about a cup, one cup of medium, one cup, one cup of medium, one cup of onion. <laughs> I can't talk today. You know, it's the first show back, guys, this year, and... <laughs> My, my mouth is not connecting with my brain. <laughs> it hasn't connected to 2021 yet, has it? Uh-uh. And then we've got a half a cup of some diced up... Celery. Celery. Because you can't have chicken noodle soup without celery. Mm -hmm. We love our celery, too. But you don't want it to overpower it, because celery can be very, you know, right. like overpowering yeah. sometimes. So I just did the half cup. So you just want these to saute up until they get tender. And once they get soft and tender here, we're going to add in some more ingredients. Some more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> some more yummy stuff. Some more yummy stuff. Like garlic. Oh, minced yeah. garlic. We've got this is this is cooking fast today. It's amazing on different days it feels like this cooks a little quicker than others. So this is 3 tablespoons of minced garlic cuz I love garlic. It makes everything better. Maybe that's the Italian in me. I love garlic. I like garlic bread. Mm. Now remember, this is going to continue to cook in the oven, so it doesn't have to be well done, just soft. So now that we've got our garlic in there, we're going to add about a quarter cup of flour. This is a half cup in here, but I'm only going to add about a quarter cup. And we're going to whisk that up. And this is going to help this all thicken up here when we add our other ingredients. And you want to just cook that flour for a minute or two, just till the flour's cooked. Doesn't that smell good? It does. It smells so good. The flavors are coming out. Mm. No vision. Mm -hmm. Once that flour is cooked, We're going to go ahead and add in two cups of chicken broth. And slowly pour that in. Okay, guys, I realized that <laughs> we were talking about this earlier and I was going to change out to the bigger skillet and I just it just slipped my mind. Like I said, my brain isn't quite... <laughs> Connecting today. Yeah, so Fluffy and Puffy is changing to a bigger skillet now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now that we're in the bigger skillet, we can add 
More ingredients? More ingredients. Silly. Yeah, because we're going to add some stuff now. You can see it already thickening up. And I'm going to add in two cups of whole milk in with our chicken broth. We got some vitamin D going on here. That's right. <laughs> Mom's like, I think you're going to need a bigger skillet. <laughs> I said, you know, you're right. Like I said, first show back, we're, we started filming today, and we're just not all here, are we, uh -huh. Sheila? No, we're not. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper, about a quarter teaspoon, and I'm just, I'm not even measuring that because... You're guesstimating. I'm guesstimating. I'm doing what I do. It's really up to you. You could add a little bit more if you'd like more, but... I always guesstimated when I turned the stove on it. <laughs> I didn't know when I turned it on. Sheila's though. always one big <laughs> estimate. <laughs> Now, some people make this with just peas, or some people just make it with peas and carrots, but I love the mixed vegetables. I do, too. It's very colorful. I, I just love mixed vegetables, and so this is two cups of mixed vegetables. I'm going to get all that out of there, too. All of it. And it's quicker, too, when you got mixed instead of having to do each individually one. And we've got two cups of chicken. Now we just we just got a, had rotisserie chicken, and so we had leftovers. So we're just using our rotisserie chicken. You can use canned chicken. You can boil your own chicken, um, whichever you like to do. Um, but this just makes it easy. You know, we love to do that rotisserie chicken at Kroger there, and yum yum. And then the final ingredient that we add in, we're gonna turn off the heat, and we're gonna pour in. Uh oh. Our cheddar. Uh oh. Did you find one missing? Right there. Get it. It's in. It's in there. It, it didn't do it. It. What do you mean it didn't do it? It flew away. No, it didn't. No. Okay. So our final ingredient is our cheddar cheese, and we always love to use sharp cheddar cheese, and so we're gonna sprinkle that in here and stir this in, and should be about two cups. So this is one cup here. I'm just going to stir this in and add another cup. And it's the, the heat is off. So while this is hot, let's get in. Now it's turning into a nice full pan. Yeah, I don't think this would have fit in the other one. <laughs> that would have been a... <laughs> Mom would have been over there laughing at us. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more of this. And we're going to leave a little bit just to sprinkle on the very, very top. We're going to take you back and show you how we put this together. So now we got our noodles and a number 13 grease bacon dish. And we're going to pour this delicious mixture. I'm going to give you that spoon right there. Right. Right over the top of it. Oh, this looks good. Look at that. May even need a bigger dish. Uh oh. Got to go over the side there, Sheila. Got it, got it, right got it, got it. <laughs> Catch, catch, catch. Might need a little bit more. Mmm, get that little last section. This out is of a there. real full meal here. It is. It looks delicious. All right, so now that we've got this delicious topping all yes. into these noodles, we're going to add the rest that we held aside of our shredded cheddar cheese, and we're just going to sprinkle that evenly right over the top. Mmm. good. Cheesy chicken noodle soup casserole. <laughs> Yum. And this would be our first meal that we'd have to eat, and it's going to be like, hurry up, it's no, the same No, this is not our first meal. <laughs> well, today. It's definitely not our first meal, but, but the first meal today. The first meal today. Okay. We're waiting for it. Mm -mm. Now, we've, we've got our oven preheated to 400 degrees, so it's getting ready to go. And then we took just a tube of your Ritz crackers, which is about a cup, and we added about a quarter cup of Parmesan, grated Parmesan cheese in that, mixed it all up, crushed it all together. That's and we're going to lightly sprinkle that right over the top evenly. Yum. Very much. So how long do you say this takes to bake? It only takes about 15 to 20 minutes in there. So That's cause... good because I'm ready for it. <laughs> She's like, hurry up, I'm hungry. I'm always ready for it. Because all these recipes have been so good. It's it's going to be delicious. And I love butter crackers on top of, like, casseroles like this. You know, they always say never go to the grocery store hungry. <laughs> never. We always cook hungry. <laughs> and we go to the grocery store hungry, so it's like a double whammy. <laughs> no, 
I'm just gonna dump just, the rest. Just dump the rest on in there. Yum. Mm. So then, once that's on there, we're gonna take uh, about a half a stick of melted butter, and we're just gonna lightly drizzle this right over the top of our butter crackers. Butter on butter. I love butter. Because this is gonna make them turn a nice golden brown. You just wanna do that slowly. You don't have to go crazy. She would be like, dump that thing on it. Get some more butter. <laughs> yeah, dump that on there. Get some more butter, would you? Dump it on there and get it in the oven. And we are going to put this in get our out. oven and be back in about 15, 20 minutes. All right, we'll be back. Yum, this looks so good. Oh my gosh, it was in there for 15 minutes and look, it's all golden brown on top. It's a perfect size. It's perfect. It looks like the perfect casserole and it smells so good. Are you ready to dig in? I am ready, girl. All right, let's do this. Look at this. Yum. Yummy. All right, I got my bowl. Oh, no. All right, we're going to try it. Look at all ready? that crunchy yumminess on there. Oh, ready? Ready. Mmm. 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 I love it. Cheesy this. chicken. And, and the Ritz. You know doesn't how that taste good? In the South, we use Ritz that on everything. That buttery flavor. Oh my gosh. You are going to love this. Yum. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go in there and eat. <laughs> go eat now. <laughs> Mom, you got to try this one. Yeah, where's my bowl? Oh, wait, wait. We got to get Mom some of this. <laughs> this is good. As Steve would say, is this the best? Cheesy chicken noodle soup casserole? If it ain't, it, it ought to be. be. Thanks again for watching us and liking us. And, and subscribing. Yes, yeah, subscribing. And don't forget, all of our social media links are right below the video. You can check all those out. Follow us there at all those places. And don't forget to join our free membership. Right. Because we're going to keep you up to date and all the new stuff we have coming out this year, you'll be the first to know. And we've got giveaways. We do. And in fact, our next giveaway is coming up. So you'll want to check that out and visit shotgunred.com because we have all kinds of goodies there. A lot of goodies. So visit our website and don't forget the brand new cookbook, Cooking with Shotgun Red, Volume 1, and we are working on Volume 2. So you'll find all those links right below this video, and we will see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Now. Okay, I'm going to eat? eat now. Mom, you got to get some. Yum. Well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe. Then you're subscribed. Next to it, it'll be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.